In this video, you'll learn how to calculate the volume of medication in any type of syringe. Syringes may come in different sizes and shapes, but generally speaking, they all have the same components and format, allowing them to be used similarly. You'll notice that the plunger seal, or stopper, has a bottom ring and a top ring. The top ring acts as an indicator for measuring the amount of medication within the syringe, meaning the measurable medication is always above the top ring of the stopper. But you may have noticed that the stoppers have a triangular shape at the top, and I'm frequently asked if the volume is measured from the tip of that apex, and the answer is no. The volume is always measured from the top ring. So you might be wondering why the triangle exists at all. And here's the answer. It's to provide maximum extrusion of the medication. But now that you know where to measure the volume from, how do you determine the size of the volume in different size syringes? The graduated scale allows us to precisely measure the amount of medication we plan to deliver. The first bold line closest to the needle is considered the zero mark, and the last number indicates the total capacity of the syringe. These marks are usually in cc's, milliliters, or units. But zero and capacity are easy to figure out. What about the smaller, unmarked lines in between? I'm going to show you three easy steps to determine the volumetric value of each line on the scale. The first step is to look at the scale and determine the increments of the visible numbers. In this example, you can see that the increments are in half cc or half milliliter increments. In step two, you'll be counting the smaller lines that fall between the numbered bold lines. Here's how you count them. You don't count the line that you're starting with. That's considered zero. In this example, you'll see the total is five lines. Step three simply uses the values derived from steps one and two. Let me show you. In step one, we determined the numbered increments to be 0.5 cc's. We'll put that number as the numerator. Then in step two, we counted the lines between the numbers. That value is placed in the denominator. When we do the division, you'll see that the quotient we solved for is 0.1 cc's. Each line represents 0.1 cc's of medication. So what if you have a syringe that says units on it? Well, don't panic. It also tells you the volume capacity as well. In this case, the syringe holds a half cc. Therefore, each numbered increment is valued at 0.05 cc's. As you can see here, every numbered line increases the liquid volume by 0.05 cc's. To determine the volume at each line, or hash mark, we'll follow the same three steps I presented. To make it easier, let's magnify those lines to count. On this syringe, there are five lines between each numbered increment. As in every case, the numerator is the volume of increments designated by numbers, and the denominator is the number of lines between the numbered marks. The resulting quotient is 0.01 cc's. Every line on this syringe has a liquid volume of 0.01 cc's. Here's a quick summary. 